This quick video will discuss your chances of winning the Euro Jackpot. The Euro Jackpot is a transnational European lottery game. Each entry into the draw consists of five main numbers from 1 to 50 and two Euro numbers from 1 to 10. Euro numbers are drawn from a separate ball machine, so it's possible to have the same number as both a main number and a Euro number. From their website, they have a schematic of how to win. You have to choose 1 through 50 balls and 1 through 10 Euro balls. The website also tells us the probability of winning each prize. Have a look. If you get the 5 balls and the 2, that's a 1 in 95.3 million chance. So in this video, what we will do is show you how to get this number. And also, let's find out how to get this probability. 4 numbers and 1 euro ball. Of course, the method that I show you here can mathematically be used for all of these. Let's start with the jackpot, 5 plus 2. To do this, we need the total number of possible combinations of picking the 5 from the 50 and the 2 from the 10. And for that, we use the combinations formula, which is also shown on your screen, right here, where we have the letter N and R. N represents the total number of balls, and that first pick, the 1 from 1 to 50, the N number would be 50. And we're selecting 5 numbers from 50, which is what R represents, how much is selected. From the second drum, the second pool of numbers, the n value is 10, and we have to select 2 from that 10. So rather than substituting n is equal to 50 and r is equal to 5 into the formula and then doing it again for 10 and 2, there's a function on most modern calculators, and that can be accessed by first clicking your n value, which is 50, typing that in, and then for my calculator, if you click second function and this division button, you'll see NCR at the top of this button. Clicking that, we end up with a C. That's read 50 choose, and then you type in your R. We end up with the possible number of combinations of picking five numbers from 50, which is 2.1 million, or 2,118,760. So that's the probability of picking the five correct from the 50. And we can do the same thing for this, where we have 10, choose 2. And there are 45 ways to pick 2 from 10. Now, how do we combine these two probabilities? The one that we found earlier, and 45. Well, for that, we use the fundamental counting principle, which states that the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. So, if we're selecting 5 from 50, and that occurs in this many ways, and then in the next selection we are selecting 2 from 10, and that occurs in 45 ways, we multiply this times 45, so 2118760 times 45 gives us 95,344,200, which is exactly what they report on their website. So this is the probability of winning the jackpot. What about the probability of getting four numbers and one euro number? Well, for that, you need a little bit more math. And to represent that mathematically, I'll write down the probability of four main numbers and one euro number is equal to the total number of combinations which we found in our previous calculation, 9534400. And now we need to find the number of combinations for picking four and one euro. To do this, let's pretend that you have a ticket, and on your ticket you've chosen the five numbers and two euro numbers. Out of the five numbers that you chose, four were correct. So we write down five, choose four. Now of course, you didn't choose all five correct, so there are 45 numbers left, and one of those 45 numbers you unfortunately chose. So for that we'll write down 45, choose one. Now on your ticket, you have two euro numbers that you selected. So we have two, choose, and from those two that you chose, only one was correct. Also keep in mind that of the eight that were not selected for the draw, you unfortunately chose one of those. So we write down eight, choose one. Now how do we combine all of these combinations? Well, once again, we use the fundamental counting principle where we multiply this number to this number to that number, and then to that number. So let's go ahead and do that. We have five, choose four. 
times 45, choose 1, times 2, choose 1, times 8, choose 1. Those are the possible combinations of this ever happening. And we take this 3600 and we divide it by the total number of combinations, which is 9, 5, 3, 4, 4, 200, and we end up with 2 in every 52,969. That's approximately equal to 3.77 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Now on their website, they say that it's 1 in 26,485. So let's put that into our calculator. 1 divided by 26485, and we end up with a number that is nearly identical to what we found, 3.77 times 10 to the power of negative 5. That number is displayed on your screen. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the probability of winning the Eurojackpot.